I thought, you know, I want to take a break, but then I got nominated for a Grammy and I felt like it was God's way of saying, like, you're on the right path, don't take a break, keep going. I think the most important thing to hold on to in life is gratitude, and with gratitude comes humility. And like, if you can be humble and walk through life as humble as possible, no matter who gives you what, or what opportunities come your way, what goals you achieve, if you can walk through life super humble and down to earth through that, then you're good because yep. you're never gonna forget where you came from and you're never gonna take anything for granted. And so I think when I make mistakes, it's important that I own up to them right away and am vulnerable with it and say, hey, look, like I don't know about certain things right. or um, you're right, I should have been more educated on this topic or whatever, but it's just about being real and like if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. You know, yeah. I'll be the first to admit it and, and I'll be the first to apologize too. You have to start somewhere. Don't be afraid to make yourself vulnerable and stay humble. We all make mistakes, but the key is to telling yourself it's okay to have those failures and more importantly, owning up to them when they happen. When you do get started, take any opportunity you can to get out there and just do it. Keep at it. Tell your story the only way you know how and learn from those who have come before you. Be a role model and be honest with the people who may look up to you. Transparency is important. And even when you've hit a low point, don't be afraid to share it with others so that they can know what to avoid for themselves. The power of mixed martial arts. Martial arts can be a great way to learn hard work and discipline and gives you an opportunity to bring yourself to places you never thought possible. Get into your workouts and allow them to make you a sharper person both physically and mentally. More women should try speaking out. Don't be afraid to be outspoken and honest because that type of sharing helps others as well as yourself. Be raw and be authentic so that whatever it is you are doing allows you to connect with other people. You can love what you do, but make it mean something bigger. Taking it on the road. When you can get out and spread the excitement for what you love doing, it makes it all that much more fun especially when you can do it with the people you love. See every opportunity to put yourself out there as having the possibility to have a blast. Make sure to take time to rest, but keep working whenever you can. When I indulge, it can be a challenge to know when to share and when to not. Be as transparent as possible, but know when to just stay quiet at times as well. Don't be afraid to own your truth and don't worry about what others think of you when you share that truth. Personal battles are a very real thing. Work on yourself and focus on being the best version of yourself you can be. Me telling my story and just, uh, there's been so much love and support. What's great is that we live in a time where nobody's perfect and we're not gonna get role models by watching people not make mistakes. We are going to meet and learn from our role models who have overcome their deepest, darkest struggles. And I wanted to show everyone, first I wanted to set the record straight, you know, a lot of stories were going around that time that didn't really know exactly what had happened. And I just wanted to tell the world, hey, this is what happened. This is how I got through it. And hopefully this can help you too, because this journey has been such a wild ride, but I've learned so much and I can't wait to share it with you. What's really wild is like when you surpass yourself, like you think, I don't know, I just, I never thought that I'd get a blue belt. Like, I just never thought that I'd be a belt in anything. I'm, I'm a singer, like, hard work pays off. And yeah. it's just really cool when when you get to prove yourself wrong. I was, I was nuts with my workouts. There were times where I would live at the gym. So I would actually like, I would work out in the morning and then I would take a meeting at the gym, like in the back office. Like my management would come to the gym. Yeah, I would take a meeting, maybe eat some eat some food, go to a second workout, uh, which was probably either like if I did jits in the morning, I'd do striking at lunch or vice versa. And then I'd do weight training as my third workout. And after I would eat and do recovery, like the Normatec pants, the IV, like I was training like a fighter at one point. You know, that's a part of the reason why I'm so outspoken and, and honest is because I know that it helps people. And, um, you know, I was saying earlier, 
I make music for me, but if it was just about the music, then it'd be a very selfish career. So I want to give back and help others, and this is my way of doing it, sharing my story. I think it definitely took me to a different place in my career. I feel like the music that I made was so honest and so raw, and it was soulful that it really, you know, it, I don't know, it, it just embodied who I am as an artist so well that um, I think the authenticity behind it really resonated with people and it connected with them. And so a lot of people have said, more so than any other album to me, like this album means a lot to me. This album, you know, is my favorite album of yours. And um, it's just been really cool. The, I've toured for longer than this too. So it's like, this is this is easy peasy. So um, yeah, I'm excited. And, I get, and I'm on tour with Nick, who's one of my best friends. So we get to hang out every single day. So it just makes it that much more fun. This is probably the funnest tour I've ever been on. Sometimes you get on the tour and like you kind of have to make it the funnest tour. This one's like accidentally becoming the best tour of my life. But it's been very empowering and liberating to just fully own my truth and say, this is who I am, this is what works for me, and if you don't like it, that's okay. I'm mm -hmm. not asking for you to. This term is something that like, I personally identified with on this journey of finding a middle ground. I've dealt with so much struggles when it comes to addiction, whether it's food, whether it's substances, and this all or nothing state of mind of like good versus bad foods. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content.